Hi guys, welcome back. So I just finished up filming a sale roundup video and I thought I would go ahead and do a kind of home update slash a homeware haul video. I haven't been filming that much home content yet uh, just because to be honest, we are not that much further ahead than when we were kind of four weeks ago. Everything just takes a really long time. Um, so we're still waiting on furniture and contractors and we've gone quotes in and so most of that is kind of sorted, but we're still pretty much living in an empty house. Like we still don't have a bed, we don't have dining room chairs. It's just taking a really long time. Um, but I'm hoping that in the next few weeks that's going to change. I think that's when we're going to start getting a few more pieces in. I am uh, doing a vlog as well at the moment, which I mentioned in my cell video because we are currently tackling my closet, which is why I'm in this kind of empty room at the moment. Um, so I'm gonna be filming that whole process as well. But in today's video, I thought I would share with you the homeware pieces which I'm just really excited about. Um, I mentioned we don't have loads at the moment, but we did get a few furniture pieces in and I have been doing a lot of shopping for some knickknacks here and there. So I thought I'd share with you what I got. Uh, a lot of these are UK, but some of them are international. So where there are US links, I will also try and include those in the description section as well. And then also before I forget, I wanted to mention that I have a new Instagram. So I set up an Instagram for my home content. It's just Chase Amy Home, not very original I know, um, but I'm going to be documenting our progress there. Again, it's a little bit slow at the moment because there's nothing to report, um, but I'm going to be sharing updates that I wouldn't necessarily share on my main kind of Instagram account. So if you're interested in following along there, then I will go ahead and link my new Instagram in the comment section. So first up, I got a few things from Anthropology, and one of these pieces was this beautiful dish which I was holding upside down. But how pretty is that? I thought that was just so beautiful. They have a whole line which is kind of French bistro inspired, and there are just so many cute pieces. And I thought this little plate was absolutely adorable. I loved it so much that I got one for my friend as well for her birthday. I hope she doesn't watch this actually. Um, but. I love it, it's so pretty. It kind of has like a metallic sheen, so they have some gold bits, if you can see that. It just says bonjour on the top, and it's just a really nice size to put jewelry or any knickknacks. To be honest, I mostly use it for holding my jewelry and also memory cards as well. It's a really nice size, and I just thought this was so beautiful. I still have the sticker on, and it was 16 pounds, so I think I actually got 20% off, so it wasn't too expensive at all. And I just thought this was so beautiful. So very, very happy with this. A really, really fun little piece. Next up is a book that I got, which I am very, very excited about. It's called Beautiful All American Decorating and Timeless Style by Mark D. Sykes. And this is possibly the most beautiful interior book I have ever seen. It is stunning, even like the back. Look at that, like if I could have wallpaper all around the house with this kind of pattern, I would. Dan would probably leave me, but it is beautiful. And the whole book is just, I mean, I love this kind of style. Like I have some of these ginger jars. It's just really beautiful, a lot of blue and white, and that's kind of our color scheme. It was for our last place, and it is for our new place as well. Just so many beautiful pictures, and it is genuinely one of those books which not only kind of looks beautiful as a coffee table book, you know, it has that beautiful blue spine, but it is genuinely a joy to look through as well, and I've been getting so much inspiration. There are some coffee table books, which I'm gonna be honest, I don't look through that often, um, but this one I've been turning to so much, just kind of flipping through at night and it really is stunning. So if you also love this kind of decor style, I would definitely recommend checking this out. I believe he's also just released a new book which is on my Christmas wish list. I think it's called More Beautiful, um, but that also looks absolutely amazing. Just a really, really stunning book full of inspiration. Next up is a homeware piece, and I'm not gonna lie, this was a bit of a splurge, but the color scheme was so perfect for what we're kind of doing with the new place that I just, couldn't resist it. Um, it is this stunning blanket. It is a 100% a cashmere throw, and the colors are just incredible. So it is this amazing baby blue on one side, and then on the other side, it's completely reversible and it is this amazing camel color. And we're very much flipping between kind of warm camel tones and sky baby blues. We have a lot of kind of cream and white furniture and that's what our base is, but then we'd be layering on these kind of tones on top. And I just saw this and I was like, I know it's pricey, but I, I was so, so in love with the color. 
and it's just completely stunning. This one is from Senra, which to be honest, I didn't even know they did home stuff, but they have a whole section and they don't have like everything, but they have like a few key pieces and everything is just so incredibly dreamy. This one, as I mentioned, is 100% cashmere and it is so soft. It just feels incredible. It's also huge. and I will try and kind of show it in a more kind of in a better way than just showing it like this, but it is genuinely huge. And I am so, so happy with our purchase. I feel like this can also be done both ways. So if you wanted to kind of show the two tones, you could, if you only wanted a camel, you could, and if you only wanted it blue. So even for the different seasons, you know, if you wanted to do the baby blue for summer and the camel tones for autumn, winter, I think that works really well. I'm just thrilled a bit with my choice. Um, they have a few different colors, and um, for me, I was absolutely drawn in by this two-tone combo, but they do do a few different shades. So soft, so well made, and oh, I just thought a bit of it. Okay, so from super luxe to super practical, I don't know about you guys, but I have been obsessed with the show, The Home Edit, and I don't always get to keep up to date with Netflix, it's just been so crazy, but my mum had a surgery recently, and she's totally fine, um, but I went down to help her recover, and we had nothing to do, because obviously we're in the middle of a pandemic still, and also she was recovering, so we just watched Netflix for like three days straight, so we finished The Home Edit in two days, I became completely obsessed. I did go ahead and buy the book as well. I went and bought all the containers because I was like, this is what I need in my life. Been very enthusiastic about it all. I haven't managed to do the kitchen yet, but I've been slowly doing the bathroom products. And this by far is one of my favorite products that I bought. So I guess in the US, you can get these from the container store. In the UK, it is John Lewis. I think it's the same brand though. I think John Lewis just has like an exclusive partnership thing. Um, but this is the turntable. So you kind of just lay it flat and then it turns. So you can use this for your herbs and spices in the kitchen, but you can also use it for bathroom products as well. And it is the niftiest thing. So I kind of position all my products that are facing outwards. So I just spin it and I can access everything without reaching over. And it's so clever, you know, it's just such a simple thing, but it really has made my bathroom space so much more functional. I don't have a ton of storage or display space. So this has been a lifesaver and I just think it's so cool. So very, very happy with this. I do have the two tier one um, in our kind of cabinet thing as well because Dan has a lot of chili spices so that's really cool also I'm just over the moon with this I think it was either 12 or 16 pounds so it wasn't too much money the whole line is great but this is definitely my favorite piece and I thought I'd also get all the kind of super practical ones out of the way. Um, I also got this set from Anthropology, and they came with a few different ones, but I wanted to mention it because not only do they work really well, but they're also good for the environment. So essentially what they are is they take the place of a cling film, and we've really been trying to kind of take steps to reduce our single-use plastic usage, if that makes sense. And I saw these, and I thought they were so great. So basically, instead of using cling film on the top of cucumber or whatever it is, that you're kind of using vegetable or fruit wise, you can pop this over and it kind of acts as a suction. So it keeps your items fresh and then you can just wash these up and reuse them. So they come, I think it was a pack of four maybe. And you have this one, which is a mini one. You have bigger ones, which we use for like onions and things like that. They have a few different sizes. And I thought they were so clever. You know, they were pretty inexpensive and obviously you can use them over and over again and they're way better for the environment as well. So I thought these were so clever, just such a great little hack, would definitely recommend. Next up, I wanted to share with you this cake stand I got from West Elm and it is so, so heavy. I got a few things from West Elm and I've just been so thrilled with all the items I've gotten. This one, I actually got this and the regular cake stand. I didn't realize that one's back ordered until January, so it's gonna be a while until I get that, but I wanted something that I could use for Christmas as well as the rest of the year. And I thought this was perfect. You know, it seems fancy enough for Christmas, but oh, so heavy um but it's also not like particularly festive and it just has a gold kind of um trim i guess and then it's marble on both the top and the bottom which is why it's so heavy so it feels very very substantial i love the two-tiered effect you can use this for canapes you can also use it for desserts obviously just so super cute and whilst it wasn't super cheap i think like considering the quality it was amazing value 
The other item I got from West Elm is actually a vase and I wanted to kind of talk about my whole console table setup because I got the console table in which I got from Neptune and I've been thrilled to bits with it. I looked at a few different ones, wasn't really sure what direction I wanted to go in and ended up going for this kind of like rustic farmhouse look. I've been so happy with it though, it feels really, really sturdy and Neptune stuff is never cheap, um, but I always find their quality to be incredible and this one just completely fulfilled all of my hopes and expectations, it's just beautiful. And then on top of that, I just had some coffee table books, a mirror, and then I had a vase and the vase is from West Elm. The vase is made from the same kind of marble as the cake stand and it is so heavy and substantial. I remember when I ordered it, I was like, wow, this is kind of a lot of money for a Bars. but then as soon as I got it I was like wow this is amazing value for money because it just feels like so substantial and solid and just fancy and expensive. I even got Dan to lift it and he was like, oh my god, that's a really heavy vase. So it doesn't wobble, you know, there's no sense of, you know, worrying it's going to move about. Just really, really solidly made and it just looks beautiful. And then I just put some um, faux, is it pampas grass? Is that how you say it? Um, I know they're kind of all the trend at the moment and I wanted some. I was trying to find the best place to get it and then I actually found a shop on Etsy and I got I think it was four bunches um so they do kind of you need to get a few to have them fluff out but I'm just super happy with them I love the overall effect and especially as like the rest of the house is very much the state of disarray you know there's just still boxes everywhere we're still sitting on stools at the dining table so it's really nice that that kind of one area when you walk in just looks a little bit more pulled together um so that's definitely my favorite spot of the house at the moment but yeah I've been really happy with all the individual pieces that I got um and the overall look as well. And then finally the last two items I want to share were these adorable apple ornaments from Maison du Monde and to be honest I've had kind of a mixed experience with Maison du Monde. I feel like sometimes the items are amazing and amazing value for money. Other times I feel like they can be a bit disappointing um, but these I've been really happy with and they were super inexpensive. So this one was six euros and this one was three euros. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to display these all year round but for autumn I thought they were really cute so this one's kind of like a, a top color and this one is a dusky pink really cute though especially if you want to bring in autumn in like a subtle way and don't want to go all out um, I thought these are just really sweet for console tables your windowsill wherever you want to put them they're just really cute and really really affordable and they have a lot of really good knickknacks like this so definitely one to check out if you wanted some nice ornament type things but you didn't want to spend the air so that is it for this homeware haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for my vlog, which is fingers crossed coming up very soon. Um, but I'm also going to be documenting the process over on my Instagram if you wanted to follow along there. Again, I'll put all the links to everything in the description section. If you have any questions for me, then leave me a comment. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.